what's up guys my name is oscar Anna from vdoc studio you guys have seen me so many videos but actually thank you a lot for those guys who have been subscribing that's the first thing i want to say and those people who are actually liking these videos and leaving a comment so without wasting a lot of time i want to tell you the biggest topic today as you may know this is the time for ramadan so actually there are a lot of muslim people who are actually coming in china and there are a lot of challenges that they face if you know the challenges that they face tell me down in the comment section but if you don't know watch this video until the end because i'm going to ask them what exactly challenges as you may know in china there are a lot of regulations in religious activities like they are strictly prohibited when you conduct them different way i don't want to tell you how or in which way but i want to tell you in a simple way that they are not actually allowed to be conducted just randomly like the way we do them back in other countries so i want to take a look what exactly they think about this issue like what challenges they face in china and what exactly things that they can't do here in china without wasting a lot of time guys let's get into the video so what's your name brother sam so actually I was actually finding the answers to what exactly are the challenges that you guys Muslim that face according to the China rules and regulations there are so many regulations here according to religious and stuff so what are the exact challenges that you guys face the first challenge is like uh, tarawi we can't uh, perform prayer in the group form over here so mosque is really far from here so it's really difficult to form uh, pray tarawi together in the form of group so first problem is that and secondly whole night we wake up and uh, prepare for um, prepare for sahur and uh, and the daytime we have classes no we don't have much time for rest so and uh, you know for uh, like ramadan it's a really sacred thing so for that you need environment like in muslim countries there is a such kind of environment everywhere like ramadan and secondly i am in a fast i go outside people are eating in front of me but in muslim countries all the things are prohibited and banned no one can eat outside so there is a lot of difference between here and in muslim countries having ramadan thank you assalamu alaikum Waalaikum salam. You see as you know this is the time for Ramadan and uh, there are a lot of things that Muslim do right and uh, according to China there are so many regulations that are actually strict about uh, religion. So what are the exact challenges that you Muslim people face here in China? Yeah. Uh by the name of Allah uh, there is nothing uh exact challenge uh, for us during Ramadan just uh, all as well uh, during Ramadan Uh, for us always will nothing challenge nothing big challenge for us just the uh, challenge i think about food stuff there is no, uh, there is which uh, which food we want to uh, hear uh, we can't find, uh, we can't uh, find here in china uh, during ramadan uh, there is nothing challenge for us always will in My name is Hader and uh, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. So uh, as you may know this time is uh, during the Ramadan time. So what exactly are the things that you'd have done them back uh, in your country and right here in China as you know there are so many regulations that you can do. Okay, okay. Well, basically before like uh, maybe 5 4 years ago if you'd asked me that question it would have been really hard. But as of now it's a lot of foreigners have come to China. There's a lot of foreign exposure. So it's not like it's easy to get uh, things we need for Ramadan. For example, Muslims they need like uh, things that have been lawfully cleaned. It's different from being normally cleaned because in like in the typical word in the, in the typical sense of the word clean, you just say that you wash the blood, you wash the tendons and the, it'll be clean. But no, in Islam you, there's a specific way to clean something and make it lawfully accepted to be eaten by a Muslim of course, not by the whole community. So procuring these meats which are which are to specifically clean was hard before but now because of the lot of muslim commu- communities there not many in this city but in different cities like beijing and shanghai is very easy to clean it is very easy to get this lawfully clean things because there are a lot of people practicing it this community it is possible but you have to go like travel a bit far to get it. but it is possible to get, get it 
other than that i would say that back home our family used to cook and they used to cook a lot better than us of course for students so that's one of the difficulties like studying cooking and you know having a social life along with that so it's also difficult here one other thing is that uh, like uh, back home uh, like muslims or everywhere they do congregational prayers basically a lot of muslim three or four people like they pray together and it's it's like in the eyes of god this is seen like a better thing to do than to pray uh, uh, like solo because unity of muslims and you can you know stay together you you meet your brother and you pray together it's not possible in china because th- these things tend to spark some you know some like it it's against the uh, regulations and asking for these rights while other communities don't have them either is you know not like not, not wrong but in i've heard in other universities we have separate prayer rooms we have separate places to pray for for this so that's a like since it's an obligation we have to do it it is an, like it's an ease on us okay other than that uh, i would say it's not that different because now china's re- regulations especially towards foreigners are you know are more relaxed than they used to be like before b- before i heard that it wasn't that you know like it was hard to get these meat it was hard to you know uh, buy things that they are lawfully clean but now it's very, yeah sorry but now it is very easy okay not that difficult other than that uh, i don't think there's a lot of you know difference because china is like any other country and muslims are living everywhere so i don't think there's a difference between that much difference assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam uh what is your name my name is naim ul hasan okay as you may know that in china we have a lot of regulations right according to religious so what are the exactly challenges that you guys face during ramadan here in china here in ramadan all is well because nothing has changed we are praying in our rooms and anything else but the basic problem for this is the food problem because here nothing haram halal or something else so just we are facing that but it's okay it doesn't matter it's okay it's hard for us being a muslim here in china and being a pastor but all over it's okay so welcome back guys right now we actually at the museum restaurant we are the museum restaurant so i came here outside i needed to ask the chinese muslim what exactly are the problems that they face and what event is taking place in order to know if uh, what is actually taking place here in china and actually if you never knew in china the out of regulations about religious i told you before so that's why i really needed to know on the foreigner side and also on the chinese side so i have one of my friend here who is actually a muslim a chinese muslim so we are going to know what actually the problem that they face here in china as a muslim uh so actually we actually one we have one of my friends here nijosha maminza wajao hanshin sha uh zo wei da zo wei jongo muslim ni lien ni mien di da wen ti shi shama wo mei you hen da da wen ti mien ni da shan zai you shama wo yo yo dong shan zai ju na ge zai yue wo men ju shi ju shi bu yao shi fen dai So thank you guys hope you guys have enjoyed this video it was actually an awesome episode make sure to go back into the channel and check other awesome episode that will be there on the channel and there are other awesome episodes coming according to the weather according to the time according to everything we are going to give you the exactly thing that you guys need and hope that you guys have already subscribed and like this video tell me exactly what exactly changes that you think that they face here and did you know before that here in China the religious activities are really prohibited well if you never knew just Right now you need to know that there are so many things that are prohibited here in China and make sure you subscribe in order to know all the things that are prohibited according to the religious activities on the coming video. What do you think of Chinese people? They are really really kind people, really really nice people. Some of them can be racist but most of them are really really nice. They are generally nice people. Really really kind and they like cute things. But yeah, they are cool. They are cool, really cool. And is the bond between Africa and China helping the people in Africa? Definitely. Most people in Africa want to school in China and also Chinese people really really like African culture, their dance steps and all of that. So the connection is really helping the diversity of um, the people here. So yeah. the connection is really really helping business in career and every every other thing so the connection is wonderful good yeah so it's a good thing that 
um, China and Africa have connections. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think of Chinese people? Chinese people are very.